episode of Rad Television. A little different one today, considering we lost a bunch of footage from our first day in Utah at the Provo River. Didn't really catch anything, so it wasn't really too big of a deal. Most of the footage we got was us just casting the flies into the water, walking through the snow, and that was pretty much it. The next day, we went to Park City Resort and didn't have too much of a blast. Spending a lot of time on the lifts, we ended up getting changed in a parking garage, which was weird. Never had to do that at a ski resort before. And the resort was just a little bit weird. The layout was different, uh, didn't totally like it. And we spent most of our time on the lifts, like I said. There were neighborhoods running straight through the resort, not too much fun terrain in the trees that we could at least find. So didn't have a totally awesome day there. After that, we kind of just hung out the rest of the time we were in Utah. Ended up actually going to a dinosaur museum, which was pretty cool. It was the Natural History Museum of Utah. It was very, very cool. A lot of, a lot of cool stuff in there. Whole dinosaurs, a bunch of, a bunch of old rocks. So we thought it was cool, so we figured it, we would go check it out. So from there, we ended up heading to the Great Salt Lake. We wanted to go check it out, so made our way to Great Salt Lake State Park and walked around for a little bit, took some pictures. There wasn't much left of the Great Salt Lake and it didn't smell very good but it looked cool the reflection was amazing water was so still and uh yeah we thought it was a cool thing to go see so ended up making it happen unfortunately we didn't go to the Great Salt Flats I don't know why but just didn't slip my mind at the time unfortunately but it is what it is I'm sure I'll be back over there but who knows we then ended up fishing another day at the Provo River so that was cool. A little bit better weather than last time. Actually, much better better weather than last time. It was clear skies and somewhere in the 30s. So didn't catch anything, but had a good day on the water. Ended up getting some cool drone shots. And it was a good day to finish off our time in Utah. So from Utah, we packed up the car and started our trek to Wyoming. We got a little intel from our buddy over at Trout Bum 2s, and he told us, to hit the Fontenelle Reservoir on our way up to Jackson, so mapped it in the in the GPS, and sure enough, it was 10, 15 minutes off track, so we had to go. We were pretty much driving through nothing for miles and miles, um, and then we approached this campsite that was surrounded by this massive river. It was very cool. So there actually ended up being a local there who pointed us in the right direction, gave us one of his spots to go check out. Uh, didn't catch anything, so I don't know how serious he was about it, but he did point us in a direction. So we ended up making our way over there, took in the scenery, because it really was just, like, nothing we've ever seen before. I put the drone up, figured I'd get some videos, and we hung out in the water, cast some flies out for about two hours, two and a half hours. It was pretty cold, so the lines kept freezing, our eyelids were literally frozen solid, and our reels were freezing up as well. Not to mention our hands were cold, too. So I pretty much just threw my gloves on and played with the drone for the rest of the time that we were there. Shane didn't want to get out of the water, so he stayed in there and freezed his ass off. So while he was doing that, I got these cool drone clips that I think came out pretty, pretty sick. It was a very unique landscape. Like I said, you're just driving through nothing for miles and miles and miles. And then you just approach this river that's at the bottom of what looks like a cliff. But you drive a little further and you're at the top of that cliff, level with the ground. And it was really just a remarkable place to go check out. Really glad we got to see it and would recommend it to anybody who's ever out in the area. If you're, if you're ever out in that area, go check it out. Ended up seeing some elk on the way. So put the drone up, got as close to them as I could. I think I got some cool shots of them. Uh, probably spooked them a little bit, but it's Wyoming. They need a little bit of entertainment. Plus, I mean... How often are you going to come across a herd of wild elk in the middle of Wyoming? Not too often, so I had to take the opportunity and run with it. So I thought it came out pretty cool. The sky is super blue there. It's just open nothingness, and the way that they were prancing next to each other was pretty funny too. I'm going to probably add some music to that. So from there, we ended up driving through the Grand Tetons and making our way into Jackson, Wyoming. So... Got there safe and sound. It was a beautiful ride up there. Great sunset that we caught. So happy about that. And that's about it. We made our way made our way to Jackson safely. Met up with Piscani, and now it's time to shred the mountain. So thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. 
make sure you stay tuned for the next one. We will be at Jackson Hole Resort. And, yeah, we'll see you there. Stay rad.